Hello everybody, it's I, the Willow G Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we, uh, well, we taped the, we, well, we taped the TV show where we were the stars and had a chicken eat, uh, cow dung. Uh, next we got a picture with Hugh Bliss here, uh, and made him green. And he's probably still gonna be green until we, uh... Hi, Mom. Until, uh... Until, uh, well, we, I guess we leave the room, I guess. Yeah, like that. Studio door. Cooking without looking. Pot. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. <laughs> Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh. Greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. <laughs> well, we've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? We're making a cake. Today, we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. All right, let's... Um, we... Let's... Uh, ooh, sulfuric acid. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your esophagus. Let's see, let's try doing... Ooh, dry, you dry want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Uh, let's try... Red Make dye sure two. to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. And uh, let's see, buffalo chips. Handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. We're making a monster here, okay? Uh, of tweed. course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. Man, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Uh, b -b 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 -b. Lard. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Uh. What that said. Hi. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes, and through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Hey, we got ourselves a cake. I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to transport donor spleens. What's it doing on the set of a cooking show? Some knowledge is better left unclaimed. Okay, well, there's a cooking show here. Might as well go through here. Back to Midtown Cowboys. And there's a... There should be another room we can go to here. The cow. Oh. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the Soda Poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I 
I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! All right, well, while this is going on... Keeper's lyrics. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Then maybe we can do a switch. Uh, nope. Uh uh. Yep. Well, he has some rem memorized, so it's not too bad. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? I, yep. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. With the banjo Hello. and everything. I'd like to do a little song I call... Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <coughs> I am Shiny like a new mylar balloon. Ugh. My girl's cheating on me. <laughs> She's at brunch today with some baboon. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the we'll decision have, we'll have of the judges must be unanimous. Stay great. tuned for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. All right, well, well remember the voice modula... Well, remember the voice modula, modulator that uh, Bosco has, so we have to figure out a way to get a million bucks. Luckily for us, I think we have the solution to that. Let's see... Let's see if, uh, well, let's see if, uh, what's his name is still green. Hugh Bliss. There we go. That's his name. Let's see. Oh, yes. All right. Well, let's head back up to, wait, hold up. Hey, a perfect fit. Now we can do. Now we've we got can another do this. contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, am I blue? No. No, you. You're not blue. Oh dear. Oh me. Oh my. That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, 999,999, yep, yep, and a million. 
Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Yeah, yeah we, have, we have quite a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, there isn't much we can do. I think for right now we should probably exit and head back to town because there's a few things we need to grab. Mainly a voice modulator and a scan and we also need a scandal as well. So let's head to Sybil first. So, anyway, we got a picture of an alien here, or Hugh Bliss that happens to be green. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Available at newsstands now. Oh, that's that. Thank you, Sybil. Yep. Also, th the joke the joke with Sybil. I, I... Where did Sybil say that scandal rag of hers was going to be? I think there's a newsstand outside Bosco's store. There we go. There we go. I smell crime. I think that's grind. Let's go. Okay. And, anyway, the joke. Anyway, the joke with Sybil uh, is that each episode she she changes professions. Talk about in, in, indecisive. Talk about being in the dice, decisive. There we go. I we are famous. It. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin. Uh, I, thought, I thought we were already misbehaving. Well, let's get that voice modulator. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch TV from in there? Oh, I've got monitors you don't even know about. Uh, hey, food stamps. We want to buy something. Quite so. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey, food stamps? Oh, well, I suppose I must accept them. Boulder Dash government conspiracy. It's hogwash. Complete card swallow. Here then is your chemical based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped up 78 speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. Oh, there we go. That's, well, that's all we needed. Well, safe to say, we can now head back to the, to the TV studio and knock Max, and knock Max out of the way. Where are we go? The TV Goody! Yep, and let's drive back. Let's just go on and drive back over there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call. Let's see. Uh oh shit, I think Trigger. <coughs> I, I I need I need to do the, do the helium first. I Alright, let's try it again. Testing, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there please we go. welcome our next now contestant, we do it. Sam. Hello, I'd like
I'd like to do a little song I call... Love has a thorny backside. <coughs> Shiny like a new my <laughs> Well, we broke, uh, Specs' glasses. She's at brunch today with some baboon. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! That was amazing. But as long as I'm a judge, Peeper's is getting my vote. Nuts. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned Damn. for more exciting action after this. Hmm. Let's try, let's try giving a... Ooh, you know what? Let's give, let's give a cake to... Let's give this cake How to... How about some cake? Cake? Oh, boy! Perfect for my birthday! There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Uh, that was delicious. And a little bit scary. You eat like Max. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh huh. What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more? Ask the director. We judges don't have to concern ourselves with operational detail. If you'll excuse me, I've got some lines to color outside of. It's your life. <laughs> Let's talk to Max. Judge looks good on you, Max. Thanks. I hope it comes with lunch. I think I'll poke around and look for clues, or craft services crawlers, or both. If you poke up some crawlers, I want six. Let's see. Now, now that we got a. Uh... Testing. One, two, three. There we go. Testing, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Let's, let's, try, let's try this again with, uh... Love is cream chip beef on top. <clears throat> all right, let's just skip through all this. And let's rock! You Oh, remember? Okay, so, okay, I think we might need to bake another cake, but we have to put tomatoes in it. That's that should help us. All right, we're slowly but surely getting there. We just need. Hey, ready. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? Let's see. Okay. Today we're baking a cake. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's yeah. Okay, so let's see. A fear of acid. Hmm, there's no tomatoes. Uh, well, fuck, full of fuck it. Let's, let's just let's just throw everything in. Make a hand. You want? And of course. No. Of course. That. 
and up every don't of this don't that's well said max every don't make sure now do we broil it sam yep. let's just right throw everything are, in there and then into the oven it. it goes that might help and through the magic of tv cooking show time one gorgeous delicious oh boy. all right let's try this again let's let's see because we need we need to make wizard use the bathroom No thanks. Testing. One, two, three. Then. Testing. I think one, I don't. Two, three. I don't think I even need to. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, the, uh, Sam. Ah, fuck! I forgot the I forgot the piece Hello. of cake. I must feed the cake to uh feed the cake to wizard again. More cake for you? No tomatoes, right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Excuse <laughs> me. Okay, I think I know what we need. Back to Bosco's! It suddenly hit me. We need to. We can bake the cake with anything, but we need ketchup for frosting. Well, uh, well, first we need to make the cake again. So. Where we go? The TV studio. Man, man, a whole bunch of running back and forth, ain't it? But yep, I suddenly, I suddenly figured out what we needed. We need, we need to, uh, we need to make a cake, bring it to Bosco's, put ketchup on it. And then give and then give it to Wiz Wizard. All right. Uh, well, I guess I guess we can uh, talk about the cow. Hey, bossy. Thank you. And what are we making? Well, that's all we have time. Welcome, one. Thank. What are we making? To Max. You want to? And your tape. And we now get do to we make it. Ran. Oh boy. Now we can get out of here. You can hear my mouse clickings. Because I'm trying to move as fast as possible. It's got a... How appropriate. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's let's come on running back to, to Bosco's. Ketchup is always good on a cake. It isn't, but it really isn't. But in this case, it is. No thanks. Whee! They're ready. Now, now we can do that thing in competition. Where are we going, Sam? 
Back to the TV studio. TV studio. This time, Daddy. we can get stuff done. Alrighty. Let's feed. Let's feed the cake to uh, to wi to Wither. Happy birthday! Oh boy! Birthday cake! That red frosty looks tasty. Excuse me. Boy, that was really. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, uh oh. Time out for number two! What the darn it? He'd better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! No. Anyway, and. Um, yep, I'll, yep. Maxwell will. Casting or Sam will already. One, I'll make do that. Three. So that's good. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we can, we can just skip through all this because we. We've seen this so many times. All <clears throat> oh, and let's hear from our judges. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note. Woo! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Hey. In bottom records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? Mount Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. There we go. We got everything we need, so we can, we can now confirm Myra, so let's go do that. We might go over a bit, we might, we might go over time here, but honestly, we're, we're, we're close to, we're close to uh, beating the chapter, so. So we might as well go over just so we can guarantee that we finish. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Remind me what you're... Re of course. What are video games? We do have a recording contract. All right, there we go. In Bottom Records. Take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Our landlady thinks I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. Come back when the media is talking about you. And don't forget to wash behind your ears first. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. Man. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. Well, and here we are. <coughs> the cow! Give her a hand, everyone! Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, the Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood. Out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt.
Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end! But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. Hmm. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Yeah, so let's see. You want, let's talk about the... I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album. Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back in musical number. What a wonderful way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. Right. And a perfect segue into my latest tirade about the lamentable state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, yak, yak, yak. And there we go. Blah, 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 yep, and yak, she's yak, currently yak, talking. Yak, we bloody, used the voice. Now, yakety, let's just yakety, use the voice yakety, yakety, modulator. Yakety, 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 yak, blah, blah, Testing. One, two, three. Blah, 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 yak, 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 and let's yak, use the banjo. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Whoa! Careful there, Tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved I almost don't have a long hectoring screed in me. Oh no, wait. There it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah 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 yak 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 yak. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> ah yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. There's right. something you should know about that picture in the yeah, Times. Let's, let's talk about I'm the, not uh, sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? There was it doesn't involved. tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Ooh. How shocking. Who? Hmm. Fellow Pennyworth, one of the soda poppers. Yo, know let's, let's... Bessie Bovine, our let's, let's co-star cow Midtown funny. Cowboys. Ooh. Oh, my. Audience, shall we bring her back out again? There we go. At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking. Is she breathing? A little, but the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts. I wanted to ask it a few questions and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed mm. bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me logy. Let's head back to the cooking the show set and mafia. see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, but I get the feet. And with that, that is that is it for for today's episode. We completed Situation Comedy. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the content that I do, please consider subscribing as I as I really appreciate it as it will help my channel grow and help YouTube push my content on the algorithm. Uh, with that being said. I hope you guys have a good good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will be starting the third episode. Where we're most likely going to be dealing with the Toy Mafia as, uh, as hinted at by the end of, of, the, this, uh, of this episode. Until uh, then, have a good one, folks. Boo-boo.